Hey, good morning, Motivational Drive-By Coco here. How are you doing today? It is a gloomy, awful Sunday when I'm doing these. And um, I'm doing motivational sit in my driveway today. Makes the last, these five will be motivational sit in the driveways. Then I gotta go to Jewel. And I'll be doing motivational drive-bys while I'm going to Jewel. Um, today's quote is by somebody I don't know. Shoot me an email if you know. Henry B. Stendhal, S-T-E-N-D-H-A-L, Stendhal? I have no idea, but it's kind of a cool quote. So, a very small degree of hope is sufficient to cause the birth of love. Wow, that's, that's a good one. A very small degree of hope is sufficient to cause the birth of love. I've talked about love lots and lots. Love, passion, to, to survive you have to love. You have to love yourself. In this I think he's talking about a small degree of hope. If you have no hope, I have no idea how you can survive, how you can live, how you can wake up in the morning and roll out of bed. I think it takes a lot of hope, love, and faith. I talked about waking up in the morning. If you don't have hope, how can you even roll out of bed? If you don't have a faith, how do you roll out of bed? I mean, even, even as much so. Hope, faith. But there are many people who have no faith, no hope, no love. And they live a tragic life your job your job if you accept if you decide to accept it is to help these people you know who they are you see them trudging through their life their day-to-day -day life sad bored depressed um you can help them you can help your, and, and help yourself in the process just talking to a very good friend of mine who had a daughter die. She was very young, in her early 20s, and she's been sick for a very long time. And he's divorced, and pretty much his life was his daughter. And now that she's gone, he's struggling with how to move on. And I saw him just the other day, and we were talking, and we're going to get together and have some coffee, because I think I want him to do some stuff with me. Um, and do some classes because he has gone through I mean, from the moment when his daughter was diagnosed with some of these problems and you know for many many years she was going through this for 15 18 years for him the way to survive the way to fill that void is to help other people his salvation, his, the way to help himself is to help others who maybe have just discovered that they are involved with this. You know, they've just found out a child has got some sort of disease that can mean their death, can mean something. You know, I tell people, if you're lonely, find other people who are lonely and help them. If you have other situations, if you're, you know, if you're hungry, you know, find other people who are hungry and help, you know, help them find food. If you, you know, if you don't have a job, help other people find a job. Zig Ziglar says something to the effect, and I don't have the exact quote in my head, but the gist of it is, you can gain all the wealth you could ever want as long as you help other people find wealth themselves so in this case I'm thinking that that hope gives you the things you need to wake up in the morning and you need to share those with others to keep you moving ponder that and have a most excellent amazing stupendous day Bye-bye.